Okay. Um, hello, good morning once again. My name is Isaac Oyemobide from IELTS uh, Guru. And uh, this morning, I want to share tips on reading, uh, reading effectively. I've done some videos for writing, and this is that will just uh, give you the right edge um, in writing. But today is for reading. And why am I doing this? Uh, basically, it's to help students. And now I will be translating to my slide just to make uh, the lecture as a uh, lively and interactive as uh, possible and now you can see my uh, lecture slide now so um i'll be teaching reading structure and i'll be explaining what it means uh by teaching uh, to teach reading structure and uh the next page of the slide uh is giving you why am i teaching this reading structure uh, the sole aim uh, is to help you uh, read effectively so that you can get, um, you can be as much accurate as possible. Okay, now the IEL test passage, reading passages are complex. They are sometimes, um, yeah, technical and uh, too worded that you need to find a method around reading. You have three passages, and uh, you're going to have to spend at least uh, 20 minutes of each, a total of uh, 60 minutes answering 40 questions. Okay, that's a an Herculean task. And so, but to make it easy for you, I normally teach the IELTS order, the reading and structure of reading, which is what I will be tackling this morning. The question type. I'll be using two, uh, two, uh, a stone to kill two birds because I will be tackling matching task question using the reading structure because um, the matching task is one of the complicated question type in IELTS. Then I normally also teach strategy on how to handle true false not given question. But this morning, irrespective of the question types, you will be. Um, maybe uh, facing in your exam because, yeah, true force not going to be there, matching tax will be there, filling the black spaces. The reading structure is the most important thing that you need to understand to avoid wasting your time and to avoid uh, being uh, caught up in too many uh, explanation or trying to get details of writing. Okay, now, I said the structure of your reading, okay, now you need to know that every passage is broken into paragraph. Yeah, every of your reading passage, like this now. This is a uh, reading passage, uh, innovation of a grocery store, of, oh, sorry, in the innovation of grocery stores. This is broken into paragraphs, okay. Now, this is uh, the second paragraph, uh, okay, and this one is labeled B, this one is labeled A, some are not labeled, but anyone that is labeled is a matching task question. Okay, so the, each, uh, every passage is broken into paragraphs, and each paragraph is broken in three main components, but two of the components are our key focus for this uh, short lecture I'm representing. Number one of them is the main idea, yes. That is, what's the main idea of the passage? Okay. Number two of them is the key action and key actors. But for now, I want us to just focus on the main idea. Okay. That is what I'm going to be focusing on here today in this short lecture because I want you to understand uh, uh, what I'm saying. Okay. When you see a paragraph as complex as it's this, you need to quickly, or as cumbersome, you need to quickly get the main idea out. Because, um, if you keep reading the old paragraph without getting the main idea, you are likely to get confused. You are likely to start memorizing a lot of things and you don't need to memorize anything. Okay, and one of the strategy I normally present to you is this. Um, when looking for the main idea, okay, don't memorize because I'm going to teach you the first thing is check your question, just uh, check your question you discover that this one is a matching task and it's telling you that, okay, 
Reading passage one has this paragraph A to F, which paragraph contains the following information that is, we're going to be looking for this information in the different paragraphs. It says, write the correct letter A to F in the box one to five on your answer sheet. So you're going to be writing A if A matches one, if A matches two. You may use any letter more than one. So it means that some questions you can find, two questions can be attached to a particular paragraph. That's what these uh, uh, instruction is um, clarifying. Okay, so now let's read the paragraph. Now, the focus is the main idea. Okay, at the very beginning of the 20th century, the American grocery store offered comprehensive service. Okay, so what is the main idea? Because I normally say within the first sentence or at most two, you must understand the main idea. Okay, then it says, at the beginning of the uh, 20th century, the American grocery store offered comprehensive service. Okay, can you see now? The customer, look at the colon, it is trying to describe the service. So the main idea here is the service being offered by American grocery store at a particular period, which is the 20th century. That's the main idea. Then I'm going to read further for you to uh, understand. It said the customer will ask help from the people behind the counter for the cap for the item. These are things that normally waste time, but immediately you say, okay, the, the grocery store offered these services, the customer then start describing the services offered, the way it's been offered. Yeah, you know, it's just talking about services in the American grocery store. Okay, for the purpose of saving time, customer had to ask the delivery boy to go. So now to save time in the service delivery, so it's talking about service in the American grocery store, 20th century. So that's the main idea. Okay, I'm saying this one is paragraph A now, and main idea, I'll just say M. Okay, services. Okay, a lot of people will say, well, I have to write all this thing down. If you're a very fast writer, for myself, I prefer writing. I just write the main idea. For some people, you can just underline and put anything to indicate that this is your main idea. Yeah, because you need to know how to do this with pace. Because within uh, 15 to 30 seconds, you need to be able to understand your main idea of a particular paragraph. And the purpose of main idea is this. Uh, you are not going into details, but because I will still come into the aspect of key action, key actor, but it gives you an idea of the whole paragraph in itself. So when a particular question is directed to that paragraph, even if you don't quickly pick that answer, the answer from the main idea, the main idea guides you to know that, okay, this is the most likely paragraph where this question is being uh, asked. So look at, now after reading the first paragraph, though, after reading and understanding the main idea and the key action, we go again to the, uh, what I call the question, because your focus is the question. You need to keep flipping back and forth to the question, read paragraph one, go to the question, read paragraph two, go to the question. Look at it now, layout of Clara Sanders' talk. Okay, in this whole paragraph, this name was, has not been mentioned. So possibly this is not going to give us any answer to this. A reference to reduction in chain labor cost. No. How Clara Sanders' idea has been carried out? No. So we need to go to paragraph two now. Can you see? So this is paragraph, we are going to paragraph two. So from the main idea, I've been, I've, I've been able to pick that the first three questions have not been answered, so no need. But I have those three questions at the back of my mind, even if I don't know them verbatim. Now let's go to the uh, second paragraph. This second paragraph is saying, born in Virginia, Clara Sander. Now this is the first mention of Clara Sander. Left school at the age of 14 in 1895 to work first as a clerk in a grocery store. Okay, so 
Who is it talking about? What is it talking about? Now I need to take you back to the main idea concept. How to get your main idea is what is it talking about? Who is it talking about? That's what I noted here. Okay. I said how to identify your main idea is what and who is it constantly talking about? Repeatedly referring to or be referred to. Okay, what, guys, any key name or word or entity being constantly mentioned or referred to, because sometimes we should not repeat that keyword, but it will make a reference to it. Okay, so now let's go back to the paragraph. He's saying, born in Virginia, Carasanda left school at the age of 14 in 19, 1895 to work first as a clerk in a grocery store. Okay, so. He's talking about Gloria Sanders and grocery store. Then you get to the sentence, second sentence. During his working in the store, two things has been mentioned. One thing has been mentioned twice. Clara Sander is. Then two, working. So this part is actually going to focus on the work or the working of Clara Sander. So those are the methods to use. The first sentence or two there about 90% of the time, we give away the main idea of a particular paragraph. So you see now, I have to write it down for your clarity. You might decide, you need to decide either writing is benefiting for you. That is, you write on the side of your worksheet, yes, or either on the line, okay, is benefiting and indicate that this is the main idea because we're still going to attend to other things like the key actions that you need to pick out. Okay, what's the main idea here? You can see that PB main idea here is, uh, okay, work of C. Sander. Let me just, I can't write the whole name for time's sake, so you need to learn how to just abbreviate Sander. Okay. Now, the work of Clara Sanders, uh, Sander, okay. This one is saying layout of Clara Sanders. So that's a question, okay, possibly. But this one is basically talking about the work. If I go into the key action, you would be able to know if it has this question. But if you know how to pick out a main idea, you will see most likely not. This one is talking about layout, not the work. Maybe there will be explanation to the store. Reference to reduction by chain score is no. How Clara Sanders' idea had been carried out, we've not got into that part. How people used to shop before Clara Sanders' store opened. So this is indicating that, okay, there will be a Clara Sanders' store. Though it will work at some point, possibly there will be another level of store. So this one is talking, if you read further, just for clarity, during his working in store, he found that it was very inefficient for people to buy things. Okay, there, without the assistance of computer at that time, shoppers were shopping was performed in a quite backward way. So this one is still talking about his work, what he discovered, shopping in his era. So I say work of Clara Sander summarizes everything. Because what he discovers in his work, that was what is being said now. Okay, so we've not still got an answer to any of this thing. Okay, now let's go to paragraph C, because you need to be patient. Sometimes under exam condition, you can start getting agitated, but that you've not seen your answer. You don't need to be. Okay, so now this is paragraph C. Okay, what's the main idea? In, Okay, 1902, Sander moved to Memphis to put his perspective to practice, that is to establish a grocery wholesale store. Now, this is the place where Clara Sander's store is being mentioned. Can you see? So this place is talking about C. Sander store. Now, you've gotten familiar with the question. Once you get familiar with the question, if now you see that question one, layout of Clara Sanders' store, how Clara Sanders carried out his idea. Without doubt, question three has been matched to this one. Okay, to establish his own grocery store. And it also said, told you here to put his perspective to practice. So three has been answered. 
You see him now, he's talking about Clarissander stuff. This one is saying layout of Clarissander stuff. Possibly the answer to this will be here because this is talking about Clarissander stuff. So possibly the layout could be mentioned here. So that's what main idea quickly does to you. It quickly gives you the idea of what paragraph a question can be located, even if you can locate it instantly. Okay, in his newly designed grocery store, so this is still talking about the store, he divided the store into three different, can you see? So one has also been answered. Though initially I was pointed to the answer from the main idea, when I read further, I got the actual answer. The purpose of main idea, I need to emphasize now, is either to point you directly to the answer or point you to the paragraph where the answer is located. So don't be agitated if you don't get your answer sometime from main idea. But 70% of the time, it is going to do that. And the other time, it is going to point you to make a good guess on where the answer would be. Okay, now let us look. Layout of Clara Sanders store answered. Reference to reduction by chain store not answer. How Clara Sanders store have been carried out answered. How people used to shop before Clara Sanders store opened. Okay. The first thing was that they gave us of how shopping was done in America before. That was the first paragraph. Yes. And here they gave us of Sanders working. So which, which paragraph is more likely to contain this answer? It is paragraph A, because that's where they describe how shopping used to be done before Parasanda started its own. So question four has been answered. Okay, it was because Parasanda had not been mentioned before, so we never knew the sequence of arrangement of the, of the paragraphs. So that is the idea the quick idea of um, quickly getting your answers. Your focus is your questions. So when, once you read three paragraphs, you can discover that you are very familiar with the question after reading the paragraph, the question, the paragraph, the question, your focus is on the question. Do not make the mistake of finishing the whole paragraph then going through the question again it's going to be cumbersome. You are not going to be as accurate as possible. So that is the tip I'm giving on how to read this morning. Okay, so furthermore, uh, further to this, I'll be coming to share the tips on how to get the key actions and the key uh, actors. But now, because I need to give you testament from students, I've seen the students spend 10 minutes on section one because section one is usually easier than the, part, the other part of the section through this method. And you need to try to master it. But before we close, I want to go to paragraph four just to give us, um, okay, I did a pre uh, drill of this one. It's a bit cumbersome, but let me just clear it out and then start again. Uh, this is uh, paragraph D on September 6th. 1916, Sanda performed self-service revolution in U.S. by opening the first PG review. Okay, performed self-service, opening the first PG review, featured by the tonsil at the entrance of 16. Okay, blah, 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 tennises. Okay, what's the main idea? Okay, even if you don't quickly get it, let's go to the second sentence. Quite distinct from those in other grocery store, customers in PG review. So it's talking about piggy with me here. And what's the main features of piggy with me? Self-service. So this one was talking about piggy with me. Sorry. Okay, so self-service. So if you go for that, because you will discover that all it's going to talk about in this passage is about piggy review, the self-service. It says it's now comparing it with other services, 
Then it now went in the third sentence, it said, inside the piggy wiggly. So it is giving us the characteristics of piggy wiggly shopping. Yes. So now let me quickly race through the questions. Again, I didn't put the question here because this one is cumbersome, but whether a paragraph is cumbersome or not, the first thing you need to do is look for the main idea. Okay, where's the question? Which one is this one? How people used to shop, description of economic success, we've not got into that. Four questions has been answered here. Sorry, three, one, two, three. Okay, number two question, number five question has not been answered, so I will need to move to other questions. So let me come to the other uh, question. Look at this now. Claire Sanders' first job. Okay. There was a paragraph that talked about his job. So you know that it's paragraph B. Even if you don't, you can't remember, you can quickly refer to it. In Clarasanda's store, people used to. So this one is talking about Clarasanda's store, where the description of the store was given. That is in paragraph C. I don't know the answer directly, but I know where the answer is. So main idea is not just about getting the answer, it's about knowing where to go locate your answer without having to go and read over and over again. Customer will be under service lands at, so he's still talking about Sanders store. Another area in his store, still talking about Sanders store. In Sanders store, shopping design, much work was done by who? So we can go locate it there. So I am not giving the answer, not because I can easily go there, but because I want you to start using your imagination to say, okay, let me go check this passage and possibly see from what I have read, am I able to locate this answer? Okay, now, so those are the things. You can see now from one to 10, you've been able to have an idea of where to get the answers. Okay, so that is the main purpose of uh, doing the main idea as fast as possible. So uh, subsequently, I will be coming to teach the key actions and also the key actors. After wrapping up that, you should be good in tackling any IELTS uh, reading passage. And if you would love to join our online class or um, the physical class, you can call the number behind my screen. Yes. And uh, it is 08... Uh, uh, one one four one one eight six nine one. Yes, as you can see it here. Or from if you are calling from uh, abroad, you can call it two three four eight one one four one four eight six nine one. Okay, so I'm your partner in destiny for your IELTS. You can check our uh, uh, YouTube channel, or yes, uh, you, you'll be getting the link uh, uh, subsequent to seeing this video in the comment section. So thank you so much. I'll be back to give you the rest of the tips later. Bye-bye for now.